Hey guys, WT here at the Coin Alley. Hope everyone is having a great day. If you are a father or a dad out there, happy Father's Day. And um, I hope you're having a, a wonderful day. You know, it's really difficult, really hard to uh, find a father that makes a difference in the lives of their kids. But certainly, hats off to all you great dads out there. All right, guys, so what we're doing today is that we're setting up the resolver for our Ethereum name service. So if you've been following along, we've gone through the bidding, we've revealed our bid, and we've finalized the auction. So now the name is ours, but there's one more thing you got to do. It's one thing, but it's two parts. It's called setting the resolve okay so basically behind the scenes when someone sends ether to you using your new name so my new name is wthomas.f when they send that uh, ether to that address it has to end up somewhere so what we're doing right now we're telling the blockchain that whenever someone sends ether to wthomas.f, it must resolve to this particular Ethereum address. So the regular hexadecimal address. And that's what we're gonna be doing today is getting that all set up, okay? So um, my ether wallet makes it super easy um, to get that done. And they definitely kind of walk you through the process, all right? So, our first step is to go to the Contracts tab. All right, so myetherwallet.com, and we click on the Contracts tab. All right, so it tells us over here, choose ENS Registry and it gives us the hexadecimal address that we need to select from this drop-down. ENS Registry 0x314159 okay and then down here we want to select access And then we have a section that says read write contract. And we need to change that to set revolver. So I'm over here. Uh, I'm at direction number three. So we need to set our node. Our node byte 32 this long string of numbers here. Copy that, paste it here. And then enter the public resolver address. Copy that, and then we paste it here. The next step is to unlock the owner account. So we're going to unlock the owner's account here. I have the treasure, so I'm going to unlock it. And I need to enter my code. If you do not have a treasure, then you would use your private keys. Okay. So I'm waiting for this to pop up here. There we go. We're gonna unlock the address. All right, so I've unlocked and instruction seven says write. 
generate and send this transaction and leave the send amount as zero. Yes, I'm sure. Make the transaction. All right. Then I want to confirm that this transaction was sent. Because uh, sometimes your transactions, they do, uh, they can fail. So this is a, a precaution. So we're going to check the transaction here on Etherscan. And it's still pending. So we want to make sure that it uh, confirms before actually proceeding. And as you just saw, it just confirmed. So now that's done, we need to return to our Ether wallet and we need to go back to contracts. So let's go back to the website so it refreshes correctly. And we have a second set of instructions to follow. The most important, setting the address. All right, so let's go back to contracts. And we're going to choose ENS Public Resolver. This one right here. Okay. Click Access. In the read write contract area, we're going to set address. It's right here at the bottom. Okay, instruction number four says enter the name hash of your name under node bytes 32. All right, here's our name hash. 0x7661. There it is. Okay. Then enter the address you would like to resolve to on their address. And this is going to be your hexadecimal address that you would receive Ether on normally. Okay. All right. This is my address here. And I'm going to put that here because that is my address. Then we need to unlock the owner account. If you have your private keys, you would do that. Export. Okay, select, unlock, 
and then right and then regenerate the transaction and then I'll confirm it on my Trezor yes and I'll verify just as before to ensure that the transaction completed correctly it is currently pending So while we're waiting for that, um, the process to reserve your own um, personal name, it's fairly simple, but I think they made it a bit more complicated than it should have been. Um, I'm not sure if this process will become more easier in the future um, because they're planning on improving this whole process flow. So perhaps the next time around, um, the process will change entirely uh, to make it a little bit more easier for the um, each for the average user to go ahead and, and reserve their names. Okay, so it is complete. As I promised, this is truly the end of the series in the Ethereum name service. All right, so let me go here and uh, take a look and see what it looks like here. All right, so it took it. So W. Thomas F. is already owned. When someone sends uh, Ethereum to W. Thomas F., it will resolve to this address, which is my Ethereum wallet address. Um, there is a process where you can actually transfer ownership of your name. Um, I'm going to decide if I'm going to go ahead and make a video of that. Um, but obviously, um, I wouldn't be able to complete it fully. Um, so that's something I would have to research. I think you would have to make some changes before transferring. Um, or otherwise, once they receive the name, I'm not sure if the resolved address is attached to the transfer. So that's um, a process that would definitely require some research on my part. Well, guys, I definitely appreciate you taking the time to watch this video um, if you did find this information useful and handy please by all means flick the thumbs up button if you have any questions or comments uh, please drop those below if you didn't like the video um, you can click on the thumbs down button but as always please provide feedback as to how i can improve or what you didn't like about the video if you're not a subscriber, I would definitely appreciate you subscribing to my channel, guys. Okay? So if everyone has a great Sunday evening or Monday, wherever you might be at this time. And until our next video, take care.